Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our A World of Ice and Fire campaign. Now, when last we left off, we had rescued a damsel in distress from a couple of good-for-nothings over here. We also did a few other missions, or rather, one other mission. Move cattle herd to King's Landing from Barrowtown, so I suppose we could return to Barrowtown now, eventually, one day and get our um, reward as well as some relation points that we really, 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 really want. Uh, Ransom Girl from Bandits, that's the one we did right now, from Duskendale. So we'll be returning to Duskendale shortly and uh, get the reward for that, possibly take another mission, so that we can eventually, hopefully, successfully... Um, build an enterprise there. We're definitely not going to be tracking down bandits, but this makes me sad. That means that it's going to take us 50 days before we can actually return to Winterfell and try and get some re, uh, relation with them. But by then, pretty sure that we'll have plenty of other things coming. Winter's coming is not going to be done. All right, well, one thing I really, really, really want to do is, um, first things first, move the kidnapped girl down and change her to... Oh, wow! I never really noticed that there's this many um, groups already made in this mod. Infantry, archers, cavalry, spearmen, skirmishers. So that's different than archers, okay. Horse archers, support, bodyguard. I wonder what support is. What units are support, I wonder? Oh well. We'll say that uh, the kidnapped girl is in the group unnamed. This way, if we actually get into a battle, we can tell her to stay back and not get... God forbid she dies. That would be awful after after a successful mission. Uh, another thing I did is I believe I got rid of the um, the white bushes problem on the maps. Uh, let me see. Yeah, all it really took was to change the realistic shadows on plants to full. We had it on zero. So the goal was not to decrease the graphics, it was to increase them. We can actually go into Brimstone and check if that worked. I read on the forums that you're supposed to do. Yep, there we go. Everything's normal. There are no white bushes anywhere. Now, on the forums, I did read that you're supposed to also increase the uh, shader quality to max, but it seems that even medium. I didn't really try going on to low, but eh, I left it on medium because why not? Um... So the performance is going to be better, and there are going to be no more white bushes. That's excellent. That is excellent. All right, so back to Duskendale we go. Oh, hello. 17 pirates. 2.9 speed. I have 3.8. Are they running from me? No. Yeah, they are running from me. You know, good thing we actually moved the uh, the lady down so that she's not going to be part of this. But I do believe that we can we can take seventeen pirates. I will drink from your skull. Are you willing to die for your men? Yes, yes, I am. I indeed am. Thank you for asking. Uh, not much of a fan of this battlefield, but let's see if we can possibly make do with it. Infantry, spearmen, cavalry to the side, and you, for whatever you do, just stay out of the battle, please. There they are. We can even take maybe this hill. Would be fine enough, so everybody follow. So archers on top. Infantry a little bit more forward. Spearmen on this side over here, and cavalry behind them, and the woman stay as far away as possible. We have four cavalry units, that's not much. I'm kind of hoping we have more archer units. These guys are have spears, yet they count as infantry units. Interesting. Really, our archers are the last ones up here? They were supposed to be the first. Oh no. Come on, archers. Get over here. Up on top. Up on top. That's right. Start firing. Do these guys have... Oh, yeah. They have javelins. Cavalry from behind. Go. Go, 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 go. Strike. Strike. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> the reason I said come on was because I was already gearing up to strike, but... Ow! BS. There you go. I was gearing up to strike, but because we were still cheering for the charge, I couldn't do anything. That was a little bit BSy. Alright, so what did we lose? Six killed? Seriously? No! That is brutal! And against only 13 pirates! Good god. Well, we're definitely gonna catch these guys. Veil vale Levy? Uh, god, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting what we're gonna do. Veil. Vale. Alright, you, you guys also said that apparently the Riverlands levies are the best Westerosi uh, archers, so we should go into the archery, not really uh, towards the horsemen. So I guess we're gonna be doing that. There we go, another archer. Perfect. Alright, our lady survived. Let us burn the bodies. Uh, what do we get? Cutlass and cracked darts. Sure, we'll take that. We gain reputation. That's awesome. At least we're gaining some of that. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade after the day's training. Do we have the money for it? We do have the money for it. Alright, so Stormland... I'm really not so sure anymore, because it looked like our Pentoshi archers definitely had more range than the Stormland's bowmen. Or rather, foresters. So I'm not sure if we really want these four uh, bowmen or if we want them to be house knights so that we have a little bit more of a cavalry presence on the battlefield. You know what? We're gonna go Stormlands Militia. And we're gonna do as you guys suggested and make the Riverlands levies into archers. Uh, Northern Footman, Tiger Cloak, Volantin Fire, Volantine Fighter. We can have 102 units. Out of which we can, what, successfully control, so 50... 51. What was I even calculating there? 51, right? So if it's 51, no, not troop trees, but uh, character... Pa -pa 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 party. We, yeah, 51 units, we currently have 77. So, lack of rest. Party size penalty isn't that harsh. It's fine. Okay, but our guys definitely do need some uh, sleep, some rest. This is a castle, isn't it? Like, I'm trying to find towns, but these are all castles on our way back to Duskendale. Uh, Will, Blackhaven, all of these look like castles. Damn it, Font Fonten also looks like a castle. King's Landing is the first town. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, so we won't be doing any uh, additional missions anywhere. What? Your troops feel refreshed for the night's rest. Oh, did the three hours that we spent burning bodies actually count as... Uh, as rest? I guess it did. Because we did it at the most opportune moment, I suppose. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good min maxi thing to do. Uh, farmers. Dragonstone. Oh, Tumbleton is under siege, is it now? Just curious what's... Aha! Running from Kylos. 5.7. 6.4. We can catch you. We can catch up to you. But do we want to is the thing. We definitely want to fight. Poacher shouldn't be that strong. Let's get him. Let's get him. No, hey, hey, those are mine! Again with you guys and just running into... But when I need you guys, you never do anything. Like, when I need you to go against the bandit knights, you, you never actually follow them. You just let them get to us. Uh, yeah. Move in to help Lord, Lord Harwood. Harwood fells. He's neutral. Yeah, we'll join in on this. Why not? 210 troops versus the enemy's 10. Definitely not overkill. I will say though, I love the sound effects. I definitely love it. So even with 10% density, the grass randomly spawns like this, huh? Interesting. Should I just... I'm just gonna ride in. I'm just gonna tell my cavalry to charge in with me. And I'll charge in with their cavalry, try to perhaps get a kill or two, get some more experience in uh, off out of this. No. Come on, come on, horsey, come on, you can do this, you can do this. Get me there before our side lost a lead, lost a leader. Did our leader, did their, or rather their leader, manage to get himself knocked out or what? Already, I only got one. That's not good. 
my cavalry didn't even manage to get here by now. I gained a renown point! Yay! Is it because I helped this guy? Your relation with Dragonstone has increased. Oh, lovely. My name is Kylos. Well met, Kylos. I am Lord Harwood, fellas. Thanks for your help, and I hope we meet again. And that's all we're gonna talk. Very well. Thief, brigand, do we want any of these? I don't think we want any of these. I like how outlaws actually had outlaws, essentially, in their prisoner hold. Nightwatch recruit. You guys mentioned that apparently there are spies in this game. But I've, but we've yet to bump into any. Like We didn't bump to any in King's Landing. We didn't bump to any um, in Duskendale. We didn't bump into any in any of the inns so far. But you guys said that apparently they are located in inns and in uh, taverns. So we might want to check the um, the Old Stone Bridge. I, I think that's that constitutes as a, as a tavern, so we might check there. And apparently if you do have spies, not only does your spotting go up by one point for every five spies, if I'm not mistaken, if I read correctly, uh, you guys also said that you can apparently, even without um, having positive relations with lords, you can... Are you going to help me this time? Because those are robber knights. There's only 23 of them, but I'm pretty sure they can actually kill us. Can we get away from them? <sighs> they left us alone. Yes, go away. Go away. Sorry, did I say bandit knights? I've meant robber knights. Why do you have ships? You should not be seaworthy. Okay, let's get into King's Land. No, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! GET AWAY! What the hell? Why are you so quick? 1300 silver stacks, are you kidding me? Fine, take it, just GTFO. There was a lord over there, and you see what I mean? Like, they go for outlaws, but they don't go for robber knights. Something that, if you ask me, is considerably more dangerous on the roads. Oh, that made me... Ugh. Never mind. I'm just I'm just upset that we just lost 1300 for literally nothing. Two days old chicken dried meat, two days old, two days old. Okay, so even if it's two days old, it's still fine. Still fine. Broken anvil in. Let's head in here and see Rickard. Stormland's peasant. Stormland's levy. Stormland's levy. There's a lot of levies suddenly here. And we can probably take all of them. But do we want to? Mm. I don't know, because if we join Dragonstone, we're going to be fighting... We're going to probably be fighting a lot of Stormlands, so I'm not sure if having too uh, many Stormlands levies in our midst is a good idea. Rickard, are you... Yeah, you're a traveler. I'm still hopeful that we might be able to find... You're a drunkard, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm still hoping we might be able to still find a companion or two. Stormless Levy, this person seems busy, okay. This one also seems busy. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Alright, so it's just the Stormless Peasant if we want him. Mm, sure. Me and, was that one of my mates or two of my mates didn't actually see that? Alright, well, there are definitely no spies in here. Leave, and we already know that there's no guild masters or anything for us. So, Old Stone Bridge. Let's enter that. Approach the inn. Let's just check out the place. If there's maybe a spy or two. Braun, why are you not on your... No, wait, you don't have a horse. Don't you have a horse? I thought you had a horse. Let's see if we can find a spy or two here. And yeah, I didn't even uh, end my sentence earlier, but apparently you you guys said that if you actually have spies in your midst, uh, I mean, in your party, you can... Stormless Levy, Stormless Levy, Stormless Levy. Uh, you can possibly uh, open an enterprise even without having positive relations with the Lord. Which sounds interesting to me. Farmer, can I... It doesn't say spy anywhere. What do you mind? What do you want? Just having a drink. You are... Can't see, you're a farmer. You are... Wait, you're brawn. 
<laughs> Innkeeper. Excuse me, Mr. Innkeeper. I can't talk to you. I legitimately have to get around in order to talk to you. What ho, lad? I'm the Innkeeper here at Old Stone Bridge. No shit, no shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that was not very useful. Stormman's Levy. I don't see any... Where are the spies supposed to be located, I wonder? I don't know. Let's try and see what that farmer, like, if he's also just having a drink, or if we can maybe talk to him and possibly do something out of this? Why am I tripping on what... No, seriously, why am I tripping on this? What of you? Just minding me on business and having a drink, lad. Okay. Why am I tripping on this wood? Good God. Leave. Okay, so we definitely didn't find anybody useful in there. To Duskendale we go. Uh, yeah, Duskendale. Oh, apparently there's a fight going on over here. Alright. Thank you so much for bringing me back. I can't wait to see my family. Farewell. I guess we got more gold out of this mission than the robber knights took from us, but that still, that was a pretty good payday that ended up being a very bad payday because of them. But if we didn't pay that, this woman would have probably either have died or gotten uh, knocked unconscious, but it, it probably die. So it was a good idea to do that. Brawn, Mero, peasant, peasant, bale peasant. Uh, so traveler, all right. Me and six others are looking for a master. I quite like the idea of giving, getting more Riverlands units and training those guys into archers, rather than getting more Veiled peasants and training them into hedge knight, uh, into knights. Considering we already have plenty of knights, uh, or rather, plenty of Veiled units. All right, so other activities meet the guildmaster. Boom, we gain three renown. Yay! Our relation with Duskendale has improved. Yay! We gained 280... Wait, are, wasn't I supposed to get like 1100 or 11... Oh god, okay, so we literally paid the robber knights everything we got in this mission. Because we kept the money that this guy gave us in order to pay the robber... Uh, sorry, the bandits. So we kept the 1100 and now we got 280, which means that that is literally everything we gave to the robber knights right now. So we're at a net... Not gain, not loss, but I would say that it's a gain considering our relation with these guys actually went up. Uh, can we now open an enterprise? Very good, sir. In the guild, we in the guild, no one trusts you, and I think we could, fi I could find someone to sell you the land you need. A couple of things to keep in mind: skill laborers are always at a premium, so I doubt that you will be able to open up more than one enterprise here. See, that's one thing that I kind of was always sad about uh, in Mountain Blade. Uh, at least some mods. Some mods actually got around this. You could actually, uh, in certain mods, such as, for instance, uh, which mods did I do first looks of? Uh, I know that the mod for um, the 108 heroes or the mod uh, Swadia Interregnum, you can actually simply buy land. You don't open an enterprise, you buy land. You can also buy new land that you then change into profitable land. And essentially, you gain... Uh, money according to how many acres uh, of land you have in that place. So you can essentially keep going, keep buying as much land as possible in a single place and have a pretty nice income uh, by the end of it. But in most other mods such as this, uh, such as Gekko Kujo, such as uh, I'm pretty sure Perizna and uh, Prophecy of Pender also have the same system so you can only have one enterprise per uh, per town. So let's see what we can actually do. A mill and bakery to make bread from grain. Cost 7,000 and profit would be 258 stags a week. No, that is not economical for me. Okay, let's just go through all of them and see what we would be. Oh, now that's a nice profit. 1,400... F oh god, we don't have that sort of money right now. Next. Okay, so we play 1,200, and my quote-unquote profit would be negative. So that's not good. Predictive Enterprise, uh, that was Heights, let's go for Grapes. 
profit would be 626, but we would pay 26,000 silver stacks. Good God, my man. Wait, wasn't the second one... We pay almost half that and gain more. That's much better. We just have to get that sort of money first. 24,500, and our profit would still... Again, the second one was still better. Iron? Okay, so we pay 17,500 and we gain 824. That's... <sighs> a net gain... I mean, it would be better to have this because you gain more every week, but you do have to pay a little bit more. But the investment is worth it, I believe. Alright, so that's the iron one. Next, woolen dye. Okay, so our profit would be negative. That's not really a profit, once again. Uh, wool. Our profit would once again be negative. And the last one, flax, would be a very big negative. Okay, so we want the ironworks to make tools from iron. So we need to get 17,500 silver stags. And we'll be able to have 824 silver stags a week. Alright, that's good to know. So that's a goal. That is the goal. Get 17,500. Now, what can we trade with you locals over here? Nothing. You guys really don't trade. So, we're at 11,500. We, I believe, should do either one or two more Maiden Pole, Salt Pans, River Run, Fair Market, etc. Up here to White Harbor and the north. Get some more uh, furs. Get back down here. And we should have enough gold, or rather enough silver stags, in a single trip like that to be able to get a... Um, an enterprise going over here. Lord Darien Vaith, the Lone Allurian, Harman Uller, Sir How Harold. Oh, he's getting. Oh, he's gonna get smacked. Thoroughly smacked. So there it were. All right. Uh, Riverlands. There we go. We might get some additional units in here. Yes, we will visit Ian. Let's see if we do. Riverlands Peasant, I shall take you. You and one of your mates. All right, so that's two additional units. Alistair. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, uh, you can take the prisoners I have. Are you sure? I'm sure. Take them. Train them into rogues. Train them into anything. And we gain reputation. That's good. Okay, so we're... <laughs> Hello, sir Barristan. <laughs> feeling, feeling somewhat party-ish, are you? Sylvia. Do you need my services, sir? You seem healthy enough, but tell me your symptoms. I am sure I can cure you. Forgive me. I was just trying to introduce myself. You are a healer? I am an orphan of the green blood. Most of us know quite a bit of ancient healing arts of ruin. Though I am specifically trained to be a healer, unfortunately times are hard, and I need to find work to support my family. Maybe you are needing someone to help rid your wounded soldiers of infection. Fun you should mention it. I am in need of a healer. I would be happy to serve you. But first, let me tell you this. My skills are far above those of maesters. Not only can I heal the wounded, I can tend to some of the most gruesome wounds and prevent scarring. That's pretty cool. Good. Get your stuff ready and meet me outside. I will not come cheap, though. I require 9,000 stags up front and a weekly wage. Okay. Okay, so how much money do we think we can gain from a round trip, a round trading trip? Do we think we would get enough money to cover both her as well as get an additional 17,500 in order to uh in order to buy the enterprise in Duskendale, I wonder. Maybe. Maybe perhaps Uh, you know what? You better be worth your 9,000 stags. I'll take her. I'll take her. Sir Ballaston, sell me. Hail and well met, sir. Hello, sir. Your face looks more familiar. Have we met before? I'm Sir Ballaston, sell me. Come. Some call me Ballaston the Bold. I served Robert in King's Garden Council. Also served with the Kingslayer and others near as bad who soiled the white cloak I wore. I might be serving in King's Landing still if the vile boy upon the Iron Throne had not cast me aside. 
it shames me to admit, but when the, he took the cloak the white bowl had draped about my shoulders and sent men to kill me that self-same day, it was as though he'd ripped the skull off my eyes. That was when I knew I must find my true king and die in his service. Ah, Bariston Selmy, yes, I've heard much about you. As valiant and honorable as any man, so I've been told. If you would have me join your service, I would be glad to assist you while I find who it is I am looking for. You are looking for Stannis, my man. I've heard rumors of a Targaryen girl across the narrow sea gathering an army. Maybe that's where we should be headed. No, no, no. No. <laughs> uh -uh. There are other Targaryens we can help, but no. <laughs> I'm sure many of your statues could become very useful in our travels. Oh, sure, though I shall require 32,000 coins as payment. Sorry, I can't pay that. I can definitely not pay that. That is that is way above our pay grade, my friend. Oh, Maiden Bull has no salt. They do have one point of salt. That's not enough. Are we actually going to be able to buy enough salt to head back north with this sort of money, I wonder? All right. Off to salt pans we go. We're not going to be upgrading any of our units, that's for sure, right now. Uh, Lord Harrow's Town, that's another one we can actually visit prior to salt pans. Try and get some stuff in here, trade with... Oh, there we go. It's, it, it, it's cheap. Thank God. Oh, I can also give you that. Didn't even notice we were still having that. I actually paid off for almost all the salt we got with that. Alright, so we'll go up to... Actually, I'm just gonna take all you have. Hell yeah. Leave. Uh, do we go for fair market? I don't think we go... I, I don't think we go for fair market. I think we go for salt pans. And then straight up north. In order to get some furs. What are those? Brotherhood without banners. Okay. Why... Get... <laughs> the pathing is still so bad sometimes. I wonder, like, how fast are those robber knights? Like, we are at 6.0, and we are much more full than we were before. We had, I believe, a speed of 6.4 prior to this transaction right now. So those robber knights actually have a speed of, like, what, 7 or 8, considering how quickly they actually caught, caught up to us. It's ridiculous. Oof. Well, it's a bit more expensive, actually, than in Haraway's town. I'll still take it, though. There. Still space for two more, but I don't think we'll actually be able to find anywhere to buy two more. Unless we literally go back, like, over yonder, towards the Twins, and then back into Fair Market. But I don't think it's worth doing that for literally two bags of salt. Let's head over here and enter the Crossroads Inn, if we might be able to find somebody here. Riverlands Levy. Bran. Have a drink? Nope. Whoa. That sound effect, though. Okay, so there's a Riverlands Levy we can also hire over here. Local Traveler, Sir Janus Larian, Bounty Hunter, Farmer. So if we talk to the Farmer... <laughs> oh, oh, hello, sir. Um, hello. My wife's going to kill me. Burp. <laughs> me. Be you want to... Mm. Uh, yeah, you want to buy me some val Valerian steel, friend? J just 15,000 eggs and stags. No thanks. Why would you say no thanks? Why? That's Valerian. No, why? I... Bounty hunter, leave me be. I'm not here to talk. Very well, Sir Janice Lauren. Good day, sir. You look like someone who traveled. Do you want to hear a story? I have plenty of time. Why not? We really don't, but okay. Ah, good. Well, I'm Sir Janice Lyren. My family go way back when to Valyria, you know? Well, Lord Peter Lyren, my father, God rest his soul, used to tell me all sorts of my ancestry. It so happens we used to have a home, a castle, in fact, somewhere near Essos. No idea where it is now, mind. But I wouldn't mind finding it. My poor father passed away some time ago and all his memories with him. I've been waiting here and I hope someone will help me find it. I want nothing for for it, mine. Just to allow me to live out the rest of my days there. The castle can be yours. Just look after it with pride is all I say. Agree, and I will help you search for it. Ooh. Maybe some other time. 
So this is another mission, I believe. Sir Janus Lyran, he wants us to find... Is it worth simply taking this guy along until we, like, until we finish the mission? Is there a time... Let me ask the uh, let me ask it like this: Is there a time limit to how long we can actually continue, ser quote unquote, searching for the castle? Because this guy looks like he'd be pretty powerful in our party if we actually have him join us. And if we take his mission on, I don't think he's actually going to cost us anything. But I only want to take him on on a mission that we can actually complete. So can we complete this mission, or is there a time limit? Because we're definitely not taking any time limiting missions right now, such as Winter is Coming and stuff like that. That was kind of bad. Uh, didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, okay, so I can't really hire you. All right. Ask around the tavern if anyone wants to join you. It seems nobody wants to join. All right. Well, it was worth the ask. Why not? Continue up north. Okay, north. We're still looking for the Moon Brothers. Or oppa, yeah, those guys. No, 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 no. They're patrolling. Are they though? They're just there to annoy me, I think. Can we go around them? Yes. Go that away. I'm gonna go all the way over here, all the way around. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Komagov, the Thraki Kanasar, was defeated. Good. Good. I don't like those guys. I'm sorry. I know they're really awesome, uh, especially in Trollin's White Harbor. You know what? I am too. They were awesome in the uh, series and everything, but good god. Bandit leader, thief, brigand. Can we... Are you... Oh, you're running away from us, are you? Which means you are certainly afraid of us. Which means we can get something out of you. If we can actually catch up to you without incurring the wrath of any additional brigands and thieves and stuff. Yeah. There. Surrender or die. Take the field. Have 81 units. Many of which were willing to upgrade, but we didn't have the money to upgrade them. Alright, so archers. Up top. Where are they actually coming from? Infantry, spearmen, cavalry, prepare. Have a few more archers now, so that's good. And by few more, I mean two more. Uh, archers spread out a little bit. It seems our Veil Footman has trouble getting through you. <laughs> Wait, what are those guys? Infantry... Archers, cavalry, spearmen. Over here, please. None of you have spears! <laughs> oh? Oh, dick! Right, we gave you an R a bow and arrow? Sure. Yeah, the Essos archers are definitely much better. I'm kind of sorry I don't have a bow and arrow either right now. I'd love to actually shoot a few times. There we go. There we go. Starting to fall. I don't think these guys actually <laughs> stand a chance against our Veil footmen. They're pretty well armed, honestly. Let's go. That guy seemed to be OP, so that's why I went straight for him. Alright, continue. Veil Levy was skill. That's not good. Uno mas. Is that it? That is it. I love having an actual army, finally. <laughs> Alright, uh, two Veil Levies were killed. That's not good. So they're definitely not going to become knights. That's too bad. Silva. Right, I haven't talked to you yet. I haven't even checked what you're good for. Apparently you're a good healer. Let's see if that's the truth. Oh, we got some stuff that we can... Okay, what's the most expensive stuff that we can actually sell? That. And I guess that. Do we have any rotten stuff yet? Rotten chicken? Rotten pork? 
because we can get rid of the rotten stuff. And um, also, oh, rotten auto meat, 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 yeah, meat. I'm gonna do this and do that so that we automatically fill up the gaps like that. Excellent. And we can take ragged leather cap, leather wooden shield, and I guess a sturdy hood, which we can also sell. Your party gained two morale. Excellent. So Baron behaves as the knights whose legends echo in eternity. He did well to hire such a noble man. Very good. Indeed, very good. Some soldiers looting and burning the dead. Castle Stockworth is no longer under siege. Breaking camp. Okay. So let's see. Silva. Trade and first aid. That first aid is all you're good for? Uh, please take a look at my injuries. What are you whining about? You're not even hurt, Lord. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, at least we have somebody that can actually heal us up when we need it. Why is your trait so good, though? Huh. Silva, tell me about your skills. You're not a very good fighter. I think we're going to have you be an archer so that you can stay behind and be much more used to us. Okay, so first aid is at 7 already, even though your intelligence is only at 14. Surgery and wound treatment could be better. Party healing speed is increased by 20% per level of the skill. Surgery, each point to this skill gives a 4% chance that a mortally struck party member. Yeah, that's the one I really, really want. Trade is a charisma skill, but we're not going to be increasing that for you. Um, let me just, once again, do we have a surgeon? We don't really have a surgeon. I mean, that's Sir Baron Grey is the best surgeon we got, and that's a 2 and a 4. Um, who was it that was also, was it Val? Was she the one with the highest trade? Yeah, that was a five. Mmm. You know what, Silva? We're gonna give you more intelligence and say that I want... I I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting, like, okay, so his wound treatment is for his surgery is too. I want to give Silva wound tr uh, surgery. Now, she's only at level 6, so she's definitely going to be able to become quite a, a good physician. Uh, and we said we're going to give you archery. Uh, also, show me your equipment. Rags, sandals, and a dagger. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's give you a ragged leather cap. You certainly look ridiculous with it, but it doesn't matter. I'll give you a... Cannot be used on horseback. Do you, you don't have the strength for this, do you? I'll give you a crapped, crapped, yeah, cracked spear, and I'll give you a shield. There. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> but well, I don't have anything better to give you as far as the, the other stuff goes, though. I can, however, give you this instead of the dagger. Dagger seems very useful, uh, uh, sorry, useless in this case. Let's move the cabbage up there. Salt up here. Boom. Alright, so, you're slightly better armed, even though I would love for you to be an archer. I'm, I'm still gonna tell you to be an archer, though. And Sir Baron Grey, you are now also an archer. Because both of you are, at least for now, our medical, uh, medical unit. I really want to upgrade you guys. I really, really do, but I can't. We gotta head up to Winterfell first sell our wares there, and we'll buy the furs on our way back. Your troops would be happier. Patron, like, I'm actually scared and keep looking, even at the lords, if they're following us or not, because you never know. Winterfell Patrol Lady, Lord Paramount is in there as well. Okay, so, first things first, let's head to the law, uh, inn. Peasant, Sirio Forel. Hello, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Well, sir, I am Sirio Forel. I am a swordsman trained in the arts of the river dance. I was once the first sword of Bravos. I can be your personal guard, or I can train your peasants and recruits if needed. I was not chosen as the first sword of Bravos due to strength, speed, or youthfulness, but I see while others are blind. I believe I can afford it. You seem able enough. Sir, I will save you with honor. Your soldiers will be all the better for me joining you. Hopefully you may even live a little while longer. Seems you could be useful. 16,000. I don't have that money right now. I'm sorry. We're not going to be taking the North Peasant Cider. Let's just head over here. 
and sell some salt. Let's see, I think we go down to 250 or 260, like that. And that's the amount I'm willing to give you. Uh, I say we first go continue up north to Castle Black. Sell our stuff there. And then continue back down to uh, White Harbor and whatnot. Do we want to upgrade some of our guys with the money that we just made? I think we do. I think we should. Uh, Northern Men at Arms, Vale Footman, uh, Vale Rider, Riverlands Levy, Riverlands Tracker, um, Outrider, Stormlands Bowman, Vale Levy into Vale Footman, both of you. You, Night's Watch, Trainee Ranger. There. Alright. So basically all the money we just made went to the upgrading of our units. Which, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. The better units we have, the the more better units we have, the better. Though our costs are going up as well. So that is slightly worrisome. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. As soon as we get over here and trade with locals. There. Salt, 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 salt. Salt, salt, salt. Uh, and I'll take your first, 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 first. That's right, all of them. I'll still sell you more salt so that you actually give me some money. And the rest of the salt will go most likely to... Oh wow, that's cheap considering how much it showed as in our inventory. Even with our trading masters. Uh, that's quite cheap, gotta say. A little bit disappointing in that. Uh, who is that? Next to us. Oh, the patrol? No, Corrin Halfhand. You're pretty weak right now. What's going on over there? Uh, Winterfell and then from Winterfell to White uh, White Harbor and continue on, right? Yeah. That's the plan. Let's head to Winterfell, right back down there, by the rest of the furs. See if anyone else is interested in any salt for good money. Some more units ready to upgrade. You find a group of men lying dead on the road ahead of you. Searching the bodies, you find 200 silver stags. That's pretty good. Let's tell your cloak archer. And Stormlands Levy. That's it. Continue on. Uh, trade with locals. Let's get those furs. Uh, do I want to... Oh, you actually used up some of the salt I sold you last time. That's pretty good. And I'll be taking all of your furs. All of them. There we go. White Harbor next. You lost 27 silver stangs, but we'll make a lot more once we sell this. Uh, White Harbor we go. Can you turn already? God, I hate the... I hate the... Pathfinding. Rather not hate, I'm just annoyed by it. <laughs> White Harbor. There we go. Trade with locals. Goods. Bada beam, bada boom. Okay. Will you buy our salt? You will. Not for a lot of money, though. I probably could have gotten more money by selling it straight to Winterfell. But we'll take it. We'll take it. And I'll also take the furs. Everything you have left. Good, good, good. Any rotten food? I think we got rid of all the rotten food, so that's good. All right. We still got money. Uh, and we shall continue... Oh, do we go to Barrow Town, I wonder, and finish our mission? That would pre be a pretty good idea, considering we actually came all the way up north. I didn't even go and check Barrow Town's, uh, inn. <laughs> okay, so Valentin, uh, Rider, Horseman, Riverlands Levy, Vale Levy, Footman, there we go. Continue on our way. Northern Clansmen... All right, so that's the weekly wages. Let's just get in here, finish the mission, get additional money out of this. Meet the Guildmaster. There we go. We gain renown, we gain 562, and our relation with them has increased. So if I wanted, just out of curiosity, if I wanted to start an enterprise, he would be fine with it. All right, do we just go through these real quick, just to see... What would be best? 303, alright. Uh, next one, 769. Still the best one so far. Uh, that's a negative. 
grapes. That's a pretty lovely, uh, lovely outcome, but definitely worse than the second one. Olives. 432 for... Yeah, nope, not the good, the best one. Iron. 900 silver stacks a week. For 17... It seems like uh, do, working with iron is the best one so far. Both in Barrowtown and in uh, Duskendale. This one's a negative. Uh, this one is a poor positive. And the last one... Poor positive. All right, so it seems like both places... So we need 35,000 now. So both Barrowtown and Duskendale are willing to open an enterprise for us. But we need... Um, we need the money for it. <laughs> uh, trade with locals, I'm just curious. Okay, so you do have furs, but they're much more expensive. Just leave. All right. We'll go back down to Fair Market, Salt Pans, King's Landing, Duskendale, etc., etc. See how much money we can actually make with the furs we just picked up. Hopefully, we can manage to actually get enough to uh, at least open the uh, Duskendale Enterprise. We'll see how it goes, but we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you enjoy what I do, please do consider leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't yet. Share this video around. You know how it goes. And I'll see you next time. And until then, as always... Ad gloriam.